what do you think American policy towards Israel looks like if Kamala gets elected? How do you think that uh, affects Israel? And do you I think, think it would work, this media-driven narrative of enthusiasm could get her elected? Yeah, I mean, one, I think she could definitely get elected. I think Republicans mm. need to be very careful to not embrace the arrogance that this is in the bag. It is not in the bag. We were saying the same things about Biden in 2020, that he's an old man who can barely swallow his own ice cream, and he got elected. <laughs> uh, I think if we're going to talk about the Israel policy, one or two things are going to happen. Either we're going to get a continuation of the Barack Obama, John Kerry, Ben Rhodes, Joe Biden idea that you can bribe people into not wanting to cut your head off. When all that gets you is rich people who still want to cut your head off. Like that's the, the policy in the Middle East we've had since Obama. Obviously disastrous. Uh, the fact that you've got John Kerry flying around the world saying like he knows what he's doing on the world stage, ridiculous. Or we're going to have even more radicalism. And Kamala Harris is a radical. You know, she's spoken at various Islamic groups saying that we shouldn't say things like radical Islamic terrorist, because you know, that's what really matters here is the Islamophobia. It's like a Norm Donald joke. And so I think we're either going to get more of the Barack Obama stuff, or we're going to get even worse, which is an embrace of the radicalism that is fueling the anti-Semitism we're seeing worldwide and in America. And that's, I think, what people really need to wake up to is this isn't, again, to paraphrase Tuck Carlson, it's not a foreign problem. You actually look at the embrace of these groups, the enabling of someone like Iran, places like Qatar, when you bring them into the world stage and you make them regional powers, which is exactly what Barack Obama did, they have consequences abroad, but at home too. The radicalism we're seeing on college campuses is because millions, if not billions of dollars are being flooded into campuses. We're having people imported with these views and we're having people exporting these views across the world. But it has consequences at home too. And if you think it's going to end with people camping on college campuses screaming things, it's not. Like if you look at radical Islamism, and I talk about radical Islamism because there's a difference between people who are Muslims and mm -hmm. the radical side of it. But radical Muslims are very open about wanting to spread radical Islam. Mm -hmm. And so you, they're not going to stop at having a few flags on college campuses. This is all an in for them. I think people need to wake up to that. And someone like Kamala Harris at the wheel is going to be a disaster, frankly. Like you might not like Trump in a lot of ways, uh, but I think he's completely right when you have when he says comments about Jews voting for Democrats are, are simply crazy. It's like you are. You, something that really kind of got to me is, I can't remember their name, but there was one student at a college campus who kind of really blew up online speaking out against anti-Semitism on their campus. You know, going, making video after video, really standing up against anti-Semitism, which is great. Got invited to the White House, had a selfie with Joe Biden. Like, you don't have to go have a selfie with Donald Trump, but you cannot be anti the anti-Semitism that we're seeing on campus, which is a direct result of these foreign policy decisions. And then go have a, like a smiling photo with the guy who made these foreign policy decisions. You cannot do that. Unless people make that connection in their head, we're just going to see more of the same or worse.